So this is really simple. It takes like 20 seconds to set up and it's really useful for taking screenshots of videos or making thumbnails. Uh, it's also really nice to have if you just don't like having the HUD pop up every time you pause something so you can see the video more. I, I'm using Windows though, so I don't know if it's different for Mac. You, you can figure that out for yourself. So it's pretty simple. You just want to take this text right here and drag it into here, but I can actually drag it from here, if you see. So I'm just going to copy paste it, put it in here, press home to go to the beginning. If you look here, it starts with function, but what I want is JavaScript function. So I'm going to type it in J-A-V-A-S-C-R-I-P-T colon, and then I'm going to click everything and drag it over here to the bookmarks toolbar. And if you don't know how to get it, just go boom, 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 air. Okay, and now uh, you have what you need. You can rename it so that you know what it is in the future. You can call it uh, YT No HUD, YouTube No HUD, save, boom. So, how it works, you go here. You did not turn that into a hat. A new video, click it, boom, it's gone. That is the worst. Now you lack the bar on the bottom, so you can't obviously control it by that. So you can use please wear keyboard. that. You can use some keyboard shortcuts. You can use left right arrows to go five seconds. Up down arrows control volume F to go full screen and out of full screen. If you press period or comma, you go one frame forwards or one frame backwards. Uh, sometimes you need to press it twice for it to do it, like I'm doing now. Also J goes back 10 seconds, L goes forward 10 seconds. Suki dot mark. K is pause and stop. You actually have to click the video to use these things. Now, what if you want it back? Refresh. Boom. Piece of cake. You did not turn that into a hat. That is the worst. So just click again. Yeah. And now it doesn't actually feel- Ah! Oh God, I can't believe I actually show that to YouTube. Well, this is awkward. Good thing I don't have anything else that is embarrassing and or incriminating on my toolbar, huh? So now it doesn't actually affect anything I have in other tabs, if you see here. Still works quite normally. But now since you can actually skip to the end with this thing when you have this one, I'm just gonna do this. See, it's back up and now gonna go to the next one. And when it goes to the next video, it keeps it when you have it in a queue, but refreshing the page, again, it fixes it. So yeah, I didn't actually invent this method, I just got it from this thread right here, kind of randomly, so I'll put this in the description, I'll also be putting this thing in the description. Now, if you have any questions, please go to PewDiePie's comment section and ask there. Now, fuck off.